Curtis Connor has asked me to make a thumbnail for his Barbie vs. Bratz video. This is the third video in a massive trilogy that he's done over the last two years. No! Not only gonna do a thumbnail, but I'm also going to help build a custom intro. And at the end of this video, I'm going to reveal these things to Curtis himself over FaceTime and get his thoughts. Let's go. Over the last five months, I have been on a crazy journey. I went from being a full-time YouTuber and filmmaker over the last five years to now being a full-time thumbnail designer. I've made thumbnails for Max Fosh, Hayden Hillier-Smith, and the editing podcast. And of course, the title thumbnail of this video, Curtis Connor. So I made my first thumbnail for Curtis for a video titled Stop Filming Strangers. It's a video about people on TikTok who go up to strangers and essentially harass them for content. We've since done two other thumbnails. I took a vision healing class, which ended up being number one on trending the day it was released and a deep dive into Potterheads, which was number three on trending the day it was released. Curtis has such an active fan base that loves his content. I'm just honored to be able to help elevate the stories Curtis wants to tell and hopefully get that CTR up. Click through rates, Click that rate. digital that gate. Digital. Two years ago, Curtis made a video called Barbie vs. Bratz. Then a year later, he followed it up with Barbie vs. Bratz 2. These two videos are hilarious and combined have over 10 million views. So when Curtis hit me up about making the thumbnail for the third and final installment of his Barbie vs. Bratz trilogy, I was stoked. I didn't want to stray away from his initial design, but I wanted to find ways to elevate the concept and clean some things up a little bit. I also had an idea about an intro video that I've been wanting to do with Curtis, and I felt like this was the perfect time to experiment with that. Which is like the cool part about the, the thumbnail dude I've been working with too. It's like, he has ideas that we like bounce off each other. And like, it's like, that was like a whole new thing for me. <laughs> Just like having someone else. Dude, the, the thumbnail hell? guy, like cottage industry of our space is pretty incredible. It's crazy. You know, like yeah. that, that's an entire economy mm -hmm. now of thumbnail guys. I don't even understand what they're doing. So first I started by finding the initial assets, first being Bratz, and I love this movie poster that I found. It's actually on Amazon Prime. Looks like they already did most of the work for me, cleaned it up nicely. May have to remove the little TM logo on the corner there, but a great starting point. And then next was Barbie. I was having a hard time trying to figure out which asset I should use from the Barbie movie, but I felt like this shot of Margot Robbie in the pink car was kind of the cleanest and most recognizable image. Next, I wanted to pull an image of Curtis's face that I'm gonna use in the thumbnail. And because we decided to basically have the thumbnail turn into the intro of the video, he actually went ahead and just sent me the intro. So he starts with his iconic Curtis face, the kind of like confused self-loathing face, <laughs> which he's a master at. Next, I brought that image into Photoshop, hit the select subject tool, and thankfully Photoshop does a great job of selecting Curtis's face and hair, but his hair's not perfect. It is a little curly and has little edges that kind of get lost on the automatic subject detection. So I did go in there and tweak it a little bit. But as you can see, once I remove the background, his hair is not perfect, but we will fix that and get to that later. This is just a great starting point and really all I need to get going. Next, I applied the overlay that I use for every single thumbnail that I create. The rule of thirds. By the way, the most essential YouTube thumbnail overlay pack is available on my website for free at learnthumbnails.com. It shows you what your thumbnail will look like with the rounded corners that YouTube puts on all of the thumbnails for mobile and desktop and a timecode mockup. It's available in the first link down below. I initially start by putting the Versus logo on top of Curtis's head to match the other thumbnails. It is important to remember that this is a video in a series of other videos and as you're designing your thumbnails, it's important to have a consistent design language so that your viewers know this is a part of a specific type of series. Next, I brought in my Barbie and Bratz movie posters, created a shape that I then duplicated so that both could be the exact same size. The Bratz movie poster is kind of perfect as is, but the Barbie logo has the text in a different plane compared to Bratz. And I felt like it just looked a little messy and it was hard to make that out if the Barbie text was lower than Bratz. So I actually 
brought that up and used generative fill to not only remove the date and some of the extra text to clean it up, but I also used generative fill to extend the bottom of that car. Next, a simple bit of white paint to paint out the TM under Bratz. Don't sue us. This does take place in America. That was an intelligent joke. And a little bit of tweaking to make sure that the composition looked good. I ended up using generative fill on Bratz as well to extend the floor slightly. Next, I actually pulled in the other thumbnails from this series. And I wanted to make sure that the angle and lining up of things was as close to the actual thumbnails as possible. Again, keeping a consistent theme here. Even though I liked having Curtis down a little bit lower, I just wanted to make sure that he was happy and kind of keep it the same. So I ended up actually moving Curtis up slightly to match the other thumbnails that he's done. And I could get really crazy with this and go really complicated, but I think simplicity wins when it comes to thumbnail design. Next, I wanted to add a little bit of a pop to the Barbie and Bratz movie posters. So I made sure to duplicate my layers because I didn't want to lose my work if I messed it up. And then I began to play with the perspective of both of those movie posters, taking it from a flat design to a more 3 3D pop design. And what I like about the perspective change of these movie posters is that it points the eye to our subject, which is Curtis. You see Barbie, you see Bratz, you recognize those logos, but it pushes your eye to the handsome, beautiful mustache on Curtis's face. I wasn't 100% positive if Curtis would approve of the purple, so I went ahead and actually selected the same color that he used for the other Barbie thumbnails. And just to have a version of it, I figured we would do kind of a green background as well, matching the other thumbnails. Next, I applied a slight pink light wrap on his face, and then I got to the tricky part for Curtis, which is always his hair. Now there's actually proper ways to cut out hair in Photoshop, but for me, it's all about speed and I don't really have the patience to sit there and draw over each individual hair. So once I feel like I'm at a decent point to do this, I actually select the hair around the edge of Curtis and hit generate and see what happens. And as you can see, I got some really great results with the generative AI built into Photoshop, giving us those perfect blended edges. The hair looks completely natural, does not look like I cut it out because it actually adds the hair back in using generative AI. It's fantastic. This has changed the game. And if it wasn't for generative AI and the AI tools built into Photoshop, I don't think I would be a professional thumbnail artist. This is one of the tricks that I'm going to teach you guys in my course. So make sure to subscribe down below and you'll find out more about that as I build my thumbnail course because I believe now that anybody can be a thumbnail artist. I felt Curtis wasn't standing out enough from the background, so I applied a slight gradient to make the background a little bit darker. And then because I kind of wanted to go a little extra, I added a slight motion blur to the edges of the image, giving the Barbie and Bratz logo a sense of movement with the thumbnail. It's very subtle. If you don't know it's there, you might not even notice it. And I feel like I'm essentially done here. This is really all that it needs to be. It's Curtis's face with the two movies there with the verses. I've enhanced it by cleaning some things up on the images themselves, keeping them very simple and minimalistic. I've moved his head slightly down, but it's still maintaining the same composition of his previous versions. And now I'm actually going to take some of these assets into Final Cut Pro and edit a video intro to surprise Curtis with. Because of autoplay on YouTube, you need to be thoughtful of your first three to five seconds of your video. And I think there's nothing better than confirming your thumbnail with visuals. And in this case, having the visuals literally be the thumbnail, I think will really help the viewer click on that video. So after a total of four hours spent on this project, I was ready to reveal it to Curtis. Okay, so I took what you've done uh, already which was that, that format with like that blue background with the, the movies, you know, next to each other and tried to elevate it a little bit. I mm -hmm. added a little bit of like a 3D effect here, you know, with the images. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, when you zoom out, it's, I think it still pops pretty good. Um, it's that same exact color that you used on this one. Mm. But you can see how when I cycle between the two, it's still keeping the yeah. original, but it's hopefully cleaning it up 
and kind of elevating it slightly. Um, yeah, definitely. So I love it. I was like, I don't know what else to do. Like, I don't want to overdo it. Um, I want to just keep it as simple as, as possible. Um, yeah. I mean, that's, that was the, the thing I liked about the other thumbnails too. They're just so simple. Any tweaks or changes that you see? The only thing is I can't really, I don't, it might just be a me thing, but I, I can't really tell where the bottom of the Barbie poster ends and the, yeah, 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 yeah. It might just be my phone, but it, it kind of just seems like it's kind of like you can't see. It seems like it ends at the bottom of the car. Okay. I also had other background colors um, there as well, like like a tan color or purple. Mm. I think purple pops it nicely, but. I'd be interested to see uh, what the purple background looks like too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I can show you right now. So, yeah, the purple does pop pretty nice as well yeah uh, you know because it, it contrasts that blue nicely so now you don't have that edge problem anymore um mm -hmm. with the purple and it fits the vibe of the barbie and the brats colors and stuff and we could saturate yeah, it a little bit more too if you want um that uh, doesn't look good <laughs> I'm good to test out the like the three, I guess, like the main one you sent, and then the purple option, and then the blue with the uh, some outline and then, stuff. And what do you think about like I was also playing with like like that, you know, like that way the verses is oh yeah clean, but like I've I looked at all your thumbnails and I've never seen a thumbnail where your head is that low, <laughs> like that's technically <laughs> right. I do kind of like me being down there because it makes the verses pop much better now yeah and then if you zoom out yeah i think i actually like that better so this is what the intro would look like <laughs> <laughs> so Again, I could do definitely do any tweaks here. I didn't even know. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much I, the only thing I might just like take away like the sunglasses and some of yeah, the yeah. other effects. And then yeah, I can kind of tweak that intro a little bit and then send you the project file, and we'll call it. We'll call it. <clears throat> awesome! I love it. Awesome! All right, dude. Well, uh, I think we're we're onto something here. I'll make those changes and uh, get back to you ASAP. And I uh, appreciate the opportunity, man. Thanks. Sick. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, I'm I'm stoked on it. Thanks for uh, yeah for making another sick thumbnail. <laughs> and, uh, and get back to editing. But I will talk yeah. to you later. Hi, man. See you, buddy. Bye. All right. See you. Okay. Here we go. Curtis said that the video would be live right now. This is my first time going on YouTube and seeing, there it is, homepage, 4,000 views in the first five minutes. There's that nice purple background. Let me scrub my mouse over. Oh, yes, he used it. Oh, he did a nice little zoom too. I love that. Okay, let's check it out. Let me actually watch it. Nice. It's time. time. Folks, two years ago, I made. Wow. Cool. Okay, cool, cool, cool. This is awesome. <laughs> Let's see the comments. The sequel we've all been waiting for. The pinnacle of this series. <laughs> this is the only thing that's going to get me through fin finals. I still can't get over the fact that I sit here at my desk. I edit for, you know, four or five hours on something. I just obsess over that thumbnail and then it's just released to the world and it's just out there. Just, it's not lost on me the opportunity that Curtis has given me to be able to make these thumbnails. I really hope, Curtis, that you're happy with how this came out. If you would like to win a one hour consultation to talk about thumbnails, to talk about YouTube strategy, just make sure to subscribe and comment Barbie brats and thumbnails and i will know that you are entering in to win a one hour consultation from me 